excited to talk to Brad Saunders and show us a little demo of how USB Super Speed is going to power this guy and create a whole host of more power and uh, video, audio, and access USB ports. Am I looking at this right? This says that this, there's no power to this so laptop the, right now, right? The device right? is actually, it's fully charged, but it's actually drawing off the battery okay. as we speak. So you can see it's not plugged in. So it's drawing off of its own battery. You can also see we have two monitors set up here. Both of these monitors are going to run off of USB AV. So if they're getting their USB information and actually displaying video for you. They have hubs in them. This monitor has an extra capability. It has power delivery. Okay, so here you can see a circuit that is the early prototype of a power delivery circuit. This all will shrink down into very small devices. It will be integrated in the platform eventually. So this circuitry is in here and here. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug the two together, USB, into the connection in the back. And what's going to happen, it has already happened. I heard, the, I heard the beep. I heard the beep, and you see that the power is now present. Hold on, screen's going to get back. This is Windows Vista, so it's a little <laughs> slow. Um, there it is, it's plugged in. So now we're charging, of course it's already charged, but we're working off of what would be considered plugged into the wall. And what you're now seeing is that the other monitors are coming up uh, over time. Again, Windows Vista, so we forgive that slowness. But they'll come up. If this were Windows 7 or 8, this would be very quick. Instantaneous. Absolutely, yeah. So, unfortunately, it's a little slow. What you do see here, though, is a uh, thumb drive has appeared. That thumb drive is actually plugged into the monitor at the far end, plugged in the side. And you can see the drive appear here, and it's saying, well, do you want to autoplay on that drive? So we're now running both displays, we're getting power. So this is a demonstration of a docking model, right? Okay. Where this monitor could be on your desk, it has a high performance super speed hub, you have your local storage plugged in, you're plugged into the wall, you leave it behind. Right. You walk up, you plug in one cable, you're done. Everything's connected, power, data, video. should explain that a little better. When you when I first plugged this in, mm -hmm. like always it's a five volt power source. Yeah. Right? So when I plugged it in, it actually supplied five volts back to the monitor. And okay. the monitor said, ah, a five volt power source and he can negotiate power delivery. And they actually negotiate the power over the voltage wire. It's not using USB data, it's actually using a, a power delivery specific protocol over the wire. Okay. So they talk to each other. This guy now discovers that this guy is a provider of power and has all these capabilities. This guy discovers this guy is a provider of power as well. Okay. And he says, hey, wait, cool. He can supply power to charge me. So they swap roles. Now the power goes off and then back on. This guy's supplying him voltage. By the way, it's not five volts. No. It's 20 volts. Wow. And it's 65 watts of power. So that's all automatic. You don't have to worry about reversing the cables. It just works the way you always expect it to do, but it's all magic. Back, back and, and forth, forth, one cable, USB right. super speed. And if this guy doesn't have any power, zero, you know, his battery's dead, it even can recognize that, providing enough power for him can to, him to negotiate sure. and then shift up to the power. So like was mentioned, smaller mobile peripherals like cell phones, tablets would really benefit oh, from yeah. something like this. Because yeah. one cable, micro USB perhaps, right. to bit USB, super speed, can pull that power from a monitor or a laptop right. without and a And they get fast charging because it's high current. So Colin, you just talked with Brad about USB power delivery, which is very, very exciting. But one of the other very exciting things we announced here at CES, the USB 3 promoter group that defined the USB 3 spec has just announced they're developing a supplement to the spec to double the performance going from 5 gigabit per second data rate today to 10 gigabit per second data rates in the very near future. The spec will actually be completed by mid this year, and we're hoping that we see products in the retail stores 
probably by hopefully Christmas uh, 2014. So this is really exciting, continuing the performance uh, capability, taking it even higher for storage, solid state drives, audio video uh, capabilities, as well as uh, hubs with multiple devices behind it. And as the volume goes up, the price come down, you'll start to see 10 gig become a mainstream IO Connect for all the USB products. It's backward compatible. Probably going to need some new super speed uh, 10 gig cables. Sure. And uh, but the OS, the application, the USB driver stack, the device class drivers all work and look just like they do USB today. So we're really excited about that. So that means I can take my really old conference USB that I got five years ago and use it in this one. That's right. Now you won't get 10 gig, <laughs> no. but you don't have to throw away your products. Yeah. So you know that's why consumers love USB. It's easy to use. It just works. It delivers the performance, but they they can upgrade when they want to, and their old products will still work. Well, thank yeah. you so much. Hey, pleasure. All right, thanks, you guys.